starts now. The big story at 10, it is a killer on the lakes and you may not know about blue-green algae. You can find it on a few parts of Lake Winnebago right now. It killed one man's dog. It could kill yours too. And what's worse, it's even harmful to your kids. NBC26 reporter Kyler Berge has the story live on Lake Winnebago tonight. Stacey, every year the DNR puts out stacks of warnings just like this to stay away from the blue-green algae. Most of the time, they just get ignored. But whether you live along the lakes or just like to visit once in a while, this story is evidence that the thing you love the most could be affected by the deadly poison. It happened in moments. I took her right into the house, you know, and just held her. And I knew she was dying. Dave Tuig lets his pup play along the water and comes back to find three-month-old Hiram clinging to life. She was going into convulsions, and I knew it was serious. She was covered in this stuff, blue-green algae in her skin, heart, and lungs. I took her in the, in the truck, wrapped her in a blanket, and held her, put her close to my heart because she was my heart. By the time Hiram got to Dr. Ann Sasala's office, it was too late. Within two hours, she went from a normal, healthy dog to a dog that was critical. The poison in the algae was too quick even for a vet that did all she could. It releases a toxin that um, immediately affects the nervous system, and then a few hours later pretty much damages their liver. Today the algae has disappeared from this spot. It will be back. Hiram is gone for good, but as much as it hurts, Dave wants her death to be a lesson. It's a benefit not for me, but for everyone else. Some biologists think that this algae is caused by fertilizer runoff from fields and uh, even lawns near the lake. And they say that this summer it was worse than ever. This season right now it's gone, but it could be back next summer just as bad as ever. Kyler Berge, NBC26, live along Lake Winnebago. Well, blue-green algae is harmful to people, but usually is not fatal. The DNR says nobody in the U.S. has ever died from the algae. Allergic reactions are more common, which lead to rashes and breathing problems. Swallowing the water leads to much more serious illness, which may result in cramps, vomiting and fevers, even joint pain. Children and the elderly are more likely to get sick.